Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudi. You are tuned in to her happy face. So first of all, I'm sorry. I have been MIA from YouTube for a long time, so I'm really sorry about that. Now I'm back. I also hope that you like the video quality now. I'm working on the background. I've got a new camera, so lots of exciting videos coming your way. So in today's video, I've taken up the challenge by 50 Shades of Vanity. That's Anu, and she's coming up with such great challenges. Do make sure to check out her YouTube channel. I'll link it down below and also her Instagram. So today I'm taking up the Half Moon Eye Makeup Challenge. Uh trust me the struggle is real i don't know how i know you do it but it's amazing so i've tried to recreate this look i've used blue uh in the inner corners and black in the outer corners so blue represents the sky i am not sure where the moon is <laughs> so this is how the look turned out so if you want to see how i created this look then please keep on watching so first up i'm going to use the body shop oils of life i love this facial oil this gives such a hydrated feel to the face for the lips today i'm going to use the bird bees lip balm this is my current favorite lip balm for the foundation today we're going to go with maybelline fit me poreless foundation i'm in the shade 310 beige and i'm actually not using any makeup sponge i'm just going to use a real techniques puffing brush to puff all the foundation in my face for my under eyes i'm going to use the la girl pro hd concealer this is in the shade pure beach i actually applied a bit too much so no worry the look will come through i'm just using my hands to blend this concealer This is like a very high coverage concealer and just a little bit of product gives you like a very good coverage. I wasn't really impressed with my fingers so I used the brush to buff all the product. Now I'm using the Mac Studio Fix. I'm in the shade C4. I'm just going to powder everything and just set everything in place. Now for the eyes, I'm going to use the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. You can use any black shade. I'm just outlining my crease. and just trying to attempt a cut crease with the black eye shadows and i've used the shade truffled over it and i'm gently just blending everything to make it seamless now for my lid area i'm going to use the nyx jumbo pencil this is in the shade sparkle green this look is actually a blue look i used green before but i wasn't really impressed with how the look turned out to be You'll see afterwards that I use a blue eye shadow over it. So right now I'm just basically making sure that the black is more visible. So I'm just putting up more black of eye shadow. I'm blending it. Then I put some more green eye shadow and blending it. Now for my eyeliner, I'm using the Lakme Absolute Shine Liner. You know this is my favorite eyeliner, and this creates a perfect wing. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm obviously going to go with falsies for this look. But before that, I'm using the mascara. I'm also putting some of the eye shadows which I used on my lower lash line. Here, I'm using the butter pecan shade from the semi sweet chocolate bar palette to highlight my brow bones. Now, I'm gonna go with my brow pencil from ColourPop, and I'm just gonna fill all the blank spots in my eyebrows. So by this time, I realized maybe green was not the perfect shade to choose. So I used the blueberry swirl from the same palette. and now you will see the difference it's much better than the green one and i actually feel relieved that you know this is looking nice yeah now i'm going to go with the lash out glomer lashes for falsies for this look now for the bronzer today i'm going to use the balm cosmetics the bahama mama bronzer this gives a very natural bronzed out look so this is really nice Now I'm going to use the uh, highlighter. I'm going to use the pink shade, the Cindy Luminizer from the Balm Cosmetics as a blush and I'm going to use the Mary Luminizer on my cheekbones as a highlighter. Who oh, whoever said that you cannot wear bold eye makeup with bold lips, tell them to meet me. I'm going to use the Mac Relentlessly Red with my bold eye makeup look. This is like a burnt coral reddish color.
So guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did then please don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Yeah, if you think that this camera quality is better than my previous videos then I would love to know your feedback. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.